Perhaps you have already noticed an archetypal scene, a man, and it is always only a man, never a woman, opens his wardrobe, and in it there are just a multitude of the same clothes. And there we have the scene, Chris Pine shirtless. Well, a freeze frame is worth it, or what do you think? The most recent example I found is from 2021. The film is titled Free Guy. It's about an NPC, non-playable character, who lives my in an open-world video game yeah, called I Free City. And in, in my opinion, paradise. Hollywood star Ryan Reynolds gives a really great performance as the nameless player. To emphasize his colorless, monotonous life, the screenwriters have him open his wardrobe, and we I see a multitude of identical items life. of clothing I've in it. And another freeze frame. You can tell I have a fondness for it. You already know this movie from the introduction. Star Trek Beyond was released five years earlier, in 2016. At the beginning of the film, the crew suffers from the tiring monotony of life in a spaceship after years of uneventful flight through space. And here too, Captain Kirk opens his wardrobe and all we see is a dozen similar uniforms. Another 14 years earlier, in 2002, the award-winning TV series Monk premiered. Tony Shalhoub plays a brilliant but extremely neurotic private detective whose life is characterized by numerous obsessive-compulsive disorders and phobias. Monk's neuroses, such as his fear of germs and disorder as well as his obsessive need for symmetry and order, give the series its unique humor and complicate his investigative work. Yes, we are looking for another shirt just like this. You want the same shirt? Identical, yeah, same color. Same pattern, 16-inch neck, 33-inch. Of course, there are only identical suits hanging on the hangers in his wardrobe. But what was the very first film in which the protagonist opens his wardrobe and the viewer only sees similar items of clothing? As far as I can trace, the Genesis scene is from a classic movie that came out in the mid-80s. This particular scene appeared in David Cronenberg's film The Fly. Jeff Goldblum plays Seth Brundle, a scientist obsessed with his work. He proudly presents his invention to the journalist Veronica, a teleportation device. And, while he's at it, his wardrobe too. It contains a good dozen of the same suits. And Seth is happy to explain to Veronica why that makes sense. This is the only way he can concentrate on his work without being distracted by something as trivial as choosing the right clothes. What do you think? Is there an earlier closet scene that I missed?